everyone welcome back to my channel Kanya Art and Craft this is Tebu Priya today I have come up with the second part of this Radha Krishna painting and there is something more for you in this video I will try to clarify your doubts about one of the most asked question in this video so without wasting any more time let's get started here I'm using lighter shade of gray so to make this color uh, we need to mix four portion of white and half portion of black applying the same gray color on few other parts of cow's body to create skin folds I'm blending each and every stroke using a clean wet brush now I'm highlighting those skin folds using a darker shade of gray using a darker shade of grey to highlight the eyes and few other parts. Uh, you need to blend each and every brush stroke. As you can see, uh, after applying a stroke, I'm blending the color using a clean wet brush. So you need to follow the same process for each and every stroke. I'm applying the darker shade of grey on the corner of the face and we will apply the same shade on few other areas to create depth. Applying black color. Applying dark green color to create some grass effect on the bottom part. Applying dark green color using round brush number 6. Now to highlight the leaves, I'm applying lighter shade of green. Here I have mixed uh, some amount of yellow color with green to create a lighter shade of green and applying the shade on few parts uh, to highlight the leaves. Following the same process, we'll highlight the grass as well. Uh, added yellow to the green color to make it lighter. Uh, now applying this lighter shade to the grass to create depth which will give a more realistic look. Following the same process, adding some yellow color to the top part of the grass to highlight. Adding crimson to the grass to give impression of flowers. Painting the lips using pink color. Drawing some teardrop shape using golden yellow color on the bottom part of the lehenga to decorate and enhance the look of the border. Using brush number 1 to draw this teardrop shape. Applying dots using the same golden yellow shade. By using 3D outliner to create some design all over this lehenga. Applying few dots on the choli part using 3D outliner. Uh, I'm following the same design for Krishna's dupatta. Applying white color using dot painting tool to create white pearl jewelry design. I have tried to provide all the possible details in this two part of this video. 
but this painting took 14 to 18 hours for me to complete so obviously it is not possible to provide each and every detail in a 20 minutes video that is why we have designed a very detailed workshop on this painting so that you can learn the detailing in a step-by-step -step process so if anyone out there interested to learn this painting in detail do drop a message in the comment section below or dm me on my instagram page from there i'll guide you how you can register for the workshop and regarding the products that i have used in this project i will be listing each and every product name and the link in the description box below so you can just check out from there highlighting the jewelry design with brown color and blending it i'll follow the same technique to create dimension in the jewelry design Applying light pink shade on the rose part of the garland. Now applying light grey colour as a base coat. To the same grey shade I have added white colour to make it a lighter shade of grey. Now applying small dots all over the garland using round brush number 1. Adding some white colour on the centre part of the garland to create depth effect. Adding darker shade of pink on the roses to highlight. Applying green colour on few parts of the jewellery to create green stone effect. Applying red colour on few other parts to create red stone effect. Applying dark blue colour. Now we will create peacock feather effect on this part, applying multiple colors like blue, green, red, yellow. Applying thin brush strokes using brush number 00. using black color to draw the eyes. Applying gray color on the eyeball. Applying black color on the center of the eyeball. I receive a lot of queries regarding varnish. So today in this video, I'll try to clarify few of your queries regarding the same. First question that I'm taking is when to apply varnish. If you're working with acrylic medium, then I would suggest you to apply varnish over the painting only after it has dried for more than 24 hours. Different form of painting requires different time frame for drying. Suppose we have done some texture painting. So in that case, obviously it will require some more time to dry these textures. So you can decide according to the work you have done on the canvas. Okay, so now we will take the second question. How to apply varnish? So there are two ways to apply varnish. One is spray and another one to apply the varnish using brush. I usually prefer to apply two layers of varnish on my painting to give it a proper protection layer and regarding the products that I have used in this project I will be listing each and every product name and the link in the description box below so you can just check out from there okay guys if you have any other question regarding this painting or any other painting do let me know your question in the comment section below 
I will try to clarify your queries in our next video. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.